the emergence of bacterial resistance is incredible. Bacteria are evolving to protect themselves or figure out ways to get around the antibiotics that we have. Bacteriophages or phages are the viruses of bacteria. Some viruses can infect us and make us sick, but um, these ones are very specific and can only infect bacteria. The estimates are that there's 10 to the 31st bacteriophages on the planet Earth. That's like 10 million times more than there are stars, so they're everywhere. Especially in my clinical population with cystic fibrosis, we are really challenged with a limitation of antibiotics that are available to us. The common bacteria we see in the lungs are Pseudomonas and Staphylococcus aureus, and that's where colleagues at Yale came to me with this idea that there's a phage that could potentially uh, target and kill Pseudomonas and potentially target and kill Staph. Their killing mechanism is totally different than chemical antibiotics, and so the way we're working with them, they work together with antibiotics. If you have something that's resistant to penicillin or something, it's very unlikely that it's also gonna be resistant to a particular phage. In the laboratory, Dr. Chan is able to take a look at a library of phages and find a phage that's gonna target and kill that pseudomonas. And therefore, the risk is minimized because only that particular pseudomonas will be targeted. It's very personalized and it's very precise and you're just going in and removing a very specific strain of bacteria from the individual. And it becomes a really important example of personalized medicine, which is can we be very selective and specific to what's going on for each individual. It's encouraging because we've seen that the amount of pseudomonas has decreased in the sputum of each of the individuals that we have treated. And there is evidence that the pseudomonas has become more sensitive to traditional antibiotics. It's definitely the dream, right? To go from like just a random discovery and doing the basic research, characterizing it, and then bringing it all the way to the person. It's fantastic. It's a great example of someone in the laboratory working with someone in the clinic to take a good idea and develop it, and as we all want to do as physicians, right? We got into this to help people, and here in front of us is an opportunity. Obviously, I'm a lung doctor. We're not limited to that. If we can develop this technique and understand how to utilize it, it then becomes available to other places where we have this, these multidrug-resistant pathogens.